America's defense chief got a first-hand look at the future of the U.S. military mission in Iraq. Secretary of Defense Robert Gates sat down with U.S. and Iraqi officers who've been patrolling together since American forces began pulling out of major cities last month. Gates also discussed Iraq buying weapons and fighter jets from the U.S. They're likely to spend billions of dollars to help protect the nation once American troops leave the country. British forces are all but gone. There are only about 150 soldiers still in Iraq, and they're being sent to Kuwait until the Iraqi government gives them permission to finish the job. While violence across Iraq has fallen, crime is on the rise. Just hours before Secretary Gates arrived, bank robbers killed eight people at a Baghdad bank. They blasted open the vault and made off with almost $7 million. Iraqi officials say it's the work of insurgents attempting to bankroll operations against Iraqi and U.S. forces. Still, Gates called Iraq's security situation amazingly different from his visit to the country as defense chief almost three years ago. He said improved cooperation between American and Iraqi forces has given Iraqis a real sense of empowerment and proves that nobody's the boss or the occupier. Charlie Daggett of CBS News, London.